So, I went on Twitter and asked what the next speedrun reaction should be. Um, one of the comments was, a new Minecraft world record, not by Dream. Not by Dream, thank God. So this one is by Illumina, Illumina HD. Um, go make sure to check out all of his stuff. Link will probably be in the description if I remember to put it there. So let's check this out. Hello everybody, it's Illumina, and I'm here to commentate my newest record that I got of 1.16 random seed glitchless. It is done in 1353. Uh, if you look at the end of the run, it shows up as 1357, but a mod actually just retimed it for it to be 1353, because in game time is usually wrong, so he sounds a little that should be like the final time unless the mod was wrong, but we'll see when it gets verified, I suppose. So uh, yeah, this run was kind of, well, unexpected to say the very least, because it was actually the first run of the day, which is crazy. I actually performed this run on my second Twitch channel, uh, specifically for, well, it's a brand new Twitch channel, and it's specifically used for no mic streams, for just, you know, focusing, just focusing on the run, no commentary or anything. Okay. So uh, yeah. Yeah, this a lot to talk like a little bit about the run, I go. Like this is probably one of the best houses in villages. Uh, this is hotel, I think, what people call it. And then I get a fifth bed, which is really nice. I actually don't get any more beds. I'm pretty confident with five, so okay. it's Basically five is that. pretty comfy for me. Usually, I, I usually go for six. Like six is probably the best, but. It ended up working out. Also, we get two blacksmiths, and that chest was so nutty. We got the iron pickaxe. Yeah, iron pickaxes are really, really good in blacksmiths. Like they're actually kind of nutty. And then, yeah, I get my tools here, and we get nine obsidian, of course, so we can go to the nether immediately because the blacksmiths have lava in them, so we can use one of those to finish the portal. That's and nutty. this part of the run's pretty straightforward, so I just want to talk about that or talk about this, that the run did not use F3 at all. Really? And you may be wondering, why why didn't you use F3? Okay. Isn't F3 very, very good? Yeah. And while it is true, F3 is becoming increasingly, increasingly more meta. And, you know, pretty much almost everyone uses F3 and everyone who has a, you know, good time uses F3. But it's just, like, the reason why I, I don't use it is really? honestly just because I have more I fun not using it. Oh. I think... The challenge is more fun, and it's just the way I enjoy playing the game. I, I don't really care if you know if you use F3 or not. I don't think it really matters. Like, him. you know, it's not, it's not a big of a deal, but it's just how I play the game. Also, I'm using a sword to kill the golem, which is I think quite a bit faster than using an axe. So maybe that's what got me sub 14. Fuck it. Although we can say that about literally anything <laughs> in the run. Well, we'll, we'll just say that's what gave me it. Yeah, mm. for sure. Uh, <laughs> don't need to find lava anymore, right here is grabbing more blocks. But blocks. Yeah, I mean, so you, oh, North East is how I play. I don't think F3 oh, is obviously an advantage, but you could still, my, I mean, I proved it. You could still get record without F3, and oh, yeah, I still you think you can get even better times without F3. Okay. I, I, I think F3 is more of a consistency thing. Also, I get the lava here. Uh, <laughs> Which I actually wasted some time because I, I I don't end up using the lava ever in this sure. run, so there's some time loss there. But I the only reason why I got it was just for safety, just in case I need to kill mobs easily. And you can see there I broke a little bit of a block, and you may be wondering why am I doing that? And it's because the block breaking animation actually shows cardinal directions, so I know which way is which. Oh shot. And the reason why that's important is because by knowing the directions, I know where quadrants can be like which quadrant i go to and which i have i at least have a rough idea i don't know ex exactly as much as you do with f3 but i have the idea if you don't know much about quadrants uh basically about... around zero zero there are four quadrants in which yeah, I guess he's kinda right because uh, the structures can spawn in i tend to go positive, positive positive which is southeast because that's usually the most high like the like high chance you get, <laughs> I, I guess, from get it for getting a structure. But I see a fortress this way, which is in the northwest quadrant, I want to say. 
So I just go to the fortress right away. I don't really see any reason not to. I didn't, I didn't see a bastion anywhere else. And you can see I'm looking around. And you see, I see a bastion over there. And that's in the northeast quadrant. So this is a fashion run, which is really good. My blaze rod rates were actually insane. Definitely would not have been world recorded for this. This is what carried it. Really carried it to world record, I would say. Um, bunch of blazes over here, so I go all the way over here. And I think, um, I want to say I'm 243 right now. Yeah, okay, yeah, so I'm 344. Not using a shield. <laughs> no shield, no F3 gang. Oh. I honestly never even cared for the shield. I don't really care that they put it in. I never, I've never actually crafted one since they put it in. I think I've used it once just because I was on a server and my friend gave it to me. But other than that, I just, I don't know. I just never cared for it at all. Um, just keep going. So yeah, it looks like I'm four for five, which is really, really good. And then I have two spawn right here, which is just insane. And I think, yeah, both of these guys drop one, so I have six. Now the safe strat is to get at least seven. So if an eye breaks while you're trying to find the stronghold, that you'd have extra blaze powder. Fuck that. But I thought that was so perfect. Like I got all the rods so quickly and it was so perfect that I feel like I'd be dumb, you know, not to go for it. You know, I, I just felt like it was too perfect. And right here I'm doing fire bow. This was invented by Howell. Um, not, well, discovered by Howell. And basically the reason why I light the boat on fire is because it gives you more horizontal distance when you go off a ledge like that. I don't think I needed to use it, but I just did it for safety. Um, so it's a, it's a pretty funny strat. Shout out to Howell for finding it. And this is the uh, Treasure Bastion. That's what it's called. <laughs> and this is, in my opinion, the best bastion. Um, just because... You know, I, I I think it's the best mainly because you just, it can be so quick. Like compared to the other bastions besides housing, it's just so quick. And you can see I didn't have gold armor going up. Oh, and also there was lava. I thought this bastion was kind of dead because of the lava, but thankfully I just walked right past it. And here I'm using a route by Ninja Brain. I don't know if this is like the fastest route or the best route, but I was practicing this route like the day of, like before I started streaming. I was just practicing this. He needs to make sure that he so I decided just to go for it. And I actually kind of play this really bad. This is the worst yeah, part of the I run. You'll see in a second, but I'll show you why I make the dip there. I there was three spots. Okay, there, so there were three spots where gold could have spawned, and it didn't spawn in any of them, which is actually really unlucky. So that. That actually makes this route really bad. But you can see I dropped gold <laughs> down there. It's never a speed run unless they say this route and this speed run is completely trash. So that, that's why I make the Literally hole there so I can drop gold on the piglins. I make a mistake here by not dropping the nine gold that I have now on the piglins. I should have dropped that. And you can see I'm really getting scanned by the gold. Like. I, I very easily could have not gotten all the pearls I needed, which is, I'm, I'm so glad I did. <laughs> I'm very, very glad. Seven. So you see how I play this pretty badly. Uh, I, I dig this and then I have all the pearls and all I need is the obsidian. I am three obsidian. Oh wait, I got, I got two obsidian. I'm just missing one. I didn't, okay, and this is where the mistake is. I did not realize that I pick up all the gold. I thought that they still tra were trading the gold and I realized the mistake and I throw it. <laughs> and then I throw it again and I missed the hole. I thought, I think they were trading right now, but I don't realize that they're not. Which is, this oh, is definitely the, the thing that made the run not, like this is the most scuffed part of the run for sure. Uh, it's kind of embarrassing, but I pick up the gold. I realize my mistake, I throw it down. And thankfully, it actually didn't even end up wasting that much time. Thankfully, because I get the obsidian trade right there. Bam. So it wasn't that bad. Like, I didn't, I didn't waste that much time. And we're uh, yeah. sub 840 blind travel, which is actually insane. This is one of the fastest blind travels 
ever, I want to say. I don't know. I don't know what the fastest blind travels are, but I know this is probably one of the fastest. Definitely my fastest by far. I think my best is like 11 minutes or 10 minutes around there. Uh, probably 10 minutes. Yeah, so, I've never once tried to speed run Pretty like crazy blind travel. I probably never will. <laughs> right here on pearling so just because i ain't that i guy. the the amount of pearls that i got it's crazy how many pearls that i got it's, it's really clutch because i can use my pearls to get to the strong hub quicker i throw an eye early just to make sure that we didn't get you know god blind travel and judging by the angle of that um that eye that i just threw it, it's the angle seems really bad to me just intuitively so i'm thinking okay well that's not good. This this one's probably not going to be record. That's, that's what I'm thinking at this point. They always say that. This one's not gonna be I record. could have threw my pearls smash. much quicker, and I feel like I could have thrown my pearls much more. You can see, okay, yeah, you can see I'm throwing my eye a lot just because, like, I really don't want to make sure I missed it. I, I've made that mistake many times where I just keep on throwing or just keep on running and traveling and then just not. Uh, we're just passing by the stronghold so much also there's an ocean here so i is so so strongholds have a tendency to spawn or generate near coasts so i throw one here just to make sure that it's not next to or it's near the coast or just to find out but then one breaks and this is really bad like it has to be a one eye or more which is really a monkey at this point i don't really have a lot of faith in the run I do like that it's ocean, and I do recognize that if it's a, uh, if the stronghold's exposed, that this run could be insane. But I don't. There's no sight. Like I have no sights of the stronghold at this point. So, you know, I'm just increasingly yeah, thinking that okay, this run's probably not going to be easily yeah. sub twelve. There's so yeah, that would have that would have been insane if the <laughs> if the spawn was above stronghold, but it was. I, I see the stronghold right now, and I'm freaking out because oh, no, I also see light sources. And light sources are a good indication that maybe there's the portal room. I don't know if there's a portal room yet, but I'm thinking, oh my gosh, there there very well could be a portal room. Mm -hmm. So I go down here to this source of light, and it's clearly not the portal room. So I go to the second source of light, and you can see right here that, yep, that's definitely the portal room. And I don't think I've ever been so nervous oh, in a run yeah. at this point. Two more cheese. It's quite yeah, crazy, actually. So, <laughs> shaking right now. This is so yeah. I I need a pretty decent nether, or not nether. I need a pretty decent end. Yeah. To clutch out the world record, it just comes. It pretty much just comes down to the dragon luck. Thankfully, the dragon, you know, gave me the RNG I needed. Do some purling. Take out the beds in my hot bar. Mm -hmm. And right now I'm thinking, oh my gosh, the dragon's on the other side. This could be really good. I throw a pearl up here. And I see the dragon right there. It looked like it was about to perch. I genuinely thought the dragon was going to perch there. And I was going to lose my mind. But if you don't know why I'm going up here, is that the dragon has a slightly higher chance of perching if you build up. So, yeah, that's why I'm doing this. I'm just re getting ready to pearl. I don't want to miss this perch. I've had runs die. Due to me missing the perch, so I was I was prepared. And then I see the dragon perching, and I got a nail of five bed. Do I do it? Let's see. Oh, and the dragon gets so low there. I'm so happy the dragon didn't break the bed. That so could have been fast. so bad, but yes, I get a five bed. Oh, oh kind of close to a four bed. Five. I mean, you can't complain with a five bed. But yeah, GG. That's world record, and I'm just gonna let out. I'm gonna let the reaction play. What? <laughs> what? Oh, wow. Okay, good for him on that. Jesus. Bro! Bro! And then that entire monologue thing about that. Oh my god, jeez. That's bloody. He beat Minecraft in under 14 minutes. Green Man got shit on him. Jesus. That was actually kind of cool. You learn a lot. You honestly do learn a lot from uh, speedrunning. Even if you're not speedrunning, you still learn a lot. Jeez, under 14 minutes. Yeah, I ain't never doing that.
<laughs> I am never doing 